Let's say when you have 20 quail eggs and you have 6,000 uh, chicks and you can hatch them, right? Then you can keep maybe um, 3,000, they have like 3,000 females to raise 300 eggs. That's, uh, that's two years. It's like almost a million, 300,000 eggs, right? Then the third year, you keep Half the females. Let's say you have a really big yard, right? Let's say you have all these. Let's say you have people working on selling them with you. Let's say you have rooms in a house in like New York City where you have people helping you market and sell your quail. And you have 4.5 million quail and you have 300 eggs a year. In three years, you can be 1.35 billion, right? And, um,. You can add more quail to it so they're not toll and breads. You can do that. But, uh, see, let's say you have all this money from your quail after two years. And then you're not, they're not, then you add more quail to not be toll and breads. Let's say this is just the numbers from like 20 quail in three years. Let's say you add other quail with your money so not total and bread, right? Then, uh, yeah. So, so you see how many quail you can have, and they, they can, you can keep it from being total inbred, right? Let's say you have people who want this money for the working on the quail. Let's say people want a job, DuPont's like the boss, you have Pioneer. But then you're like looking for ways to have seal them. Let's say, let's say you get a root to raise a place, right? Let's say you could get like a place to live in. Walmart uses poor people to raise quail. Let's say you want your money. Let's say Walmart uses subsidies to give you, like, an apartment in the city to uh, raise them, right? Let's say Walmart would use subsidies to help you, but then um, that's how they stay in business. Then you can't. Let's say you rely on Walmart. This is a smart egg uh, incubator. Let's say you rely on Walmart. And, uh, you have an apartment, right, to raise quail with, with a, with a, with a room to raise quail. Let's say this is buying quail. Let's say people wanted money to raise them themselves, but then you're attacking them. Let's say you want your own business and your own place. But let's say you like, Walmart wants to keep you poor, keep selling them, and you want your own money. And you want this kind of numbers and stuff. Let's say you want that for yourself. You want to supply like Walmart and you want your own stuff, but the others sit there keeping you poor working there? I don't know. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're still poor, even though you try. Sometimes Walmart has all these people who are still poor anyway. Okay? So there's a city where you get people who are not starving to go, right? Let's say you have a city where they cannot be starving with lots of quail. But I don't know.